I first met him in the Middle East, in a town once prosperous, now ravaged by conflict. A feckless power play between militiamen and PMCs. War has become a commodity, a packaged good. Battlefields are open markets, trading in blood. Only one man stepped into that war zone for his own reasons. An old dog of war, a solid snake. Once hailed as a hero who'd saved the world, now damned as the villain who would lead it to ruin. Exhausted from a life spent waging war, the old man picks up his gun. Fighting to purge the world of his cursed bloodline and atone for his sins. Let me tell you about this old snake. About the shadows of his past. A certain document first brought Solid Snake to my attention. It described a truly remarkable soldier. Big Boss. Military men and mercenaries alike dubbed him the greatest soldier who ever lived. They all knew him, but few had met him in person. Many doubted his existence. Most legends have their roots in myth, but Big Boss was the real deal. A true living legend. An official military dossier verifies his existence. In the 1960s, he helped invent close quarters combat, CQC. Then, ordered to covertly mend the growing rift between two global superpowers following the Cuban Missile Crisis, he slipped into the Soviet Union on a solo sneaking mission. The document claims that Big Boss prevented World War III, that he was a true patriot. This document detailed the entire affair. The military had revealed Big Boss's virtue to the world. The man I seek is his successor. The man I seek is Solid Snake. To maximize on its most valuable asset, the US military began experimenting with cloning in the 1970s. Dubbed Les Enfants Terribles, this project created a man nearly identical to Big Boss 
in physique, prowess, and potential. That man was Solid Snake. Born from the Pandora's box of human cloning, he was a second big boss. Original and facsimile, Big Boss and Solid Snake first met on the battlefield. In the early 1990s, Big Boss devised a plan to control all the world's wars. Thus, a mercenary dispatch company, Outer Heaven, was born. It was there that Big Boss began developing a new secret weapon, Metal Gear. A bipedal tank that could launch a nuclear attack from anywhere on Earth. The very existence of Outer Heaven threatened to upset the fragile balance of nuclear deterrence. The world's military powers responded and shortly thereafter sent a single man to infiltrate Outer Heaven and bring Big Boss down. That soldier, a rookie member of Foxhound, was Solid Snake. Defeated by Solid Snake, Big Boss fled to Zanzibar land to resume development of Metal Gear. Solid Snake returned to infiltrate Zanzibar land, kill Big Boss, and dismantle Metal Gear. And that's just what he did. Snake completed his mission without ever knowing Big Boss was his father his genetic blueprint. No one told him he was Big Boss's clone. The Outer Heaven Uprising. The Zanzibar Land Riot. That's how history records these events. But history doesn't know that they were two chapters in a tragic tale of patricide. After eliminating Big Boss, Solid Snake was relieved of duty, retiring to Alaska, where he planned to live out his years in peace and solitude. But fate had other plans. A second clone of Big Boss appeared, Liquid Snake. Allow me to shed some light on the so-called Shadow Moses incident. The crisis that would make Solid Snake a hero to the world. It all began with an unprecedented crisis, the hijacking of a nuclear weapon. In 2005, the Special Forces unit stationed in Alaska on the remote Shadow Moses Island staged a revolt. Their ringleaders were Liquid Snake and the new members of Foxhound. Taking hostages and securing the island's nuclear weapons disposal facility, they issued demands to the White House. At the top of their list, Pandora's box. The corpse of Big Boss. The military summoned Solid Snake, formerly of Foxhound, and ordered him to infiltrate the island alone. He unearthed a secret buried beneath the island's frozen snow-swept surface. A bipedal nuclear tank. Metal Gear Rex. Liquid had seized Rex while it was still under development by the US military. Once again, nuclear war threatened the world. The old foxhound battled the new. Solid grappled with Liquid, and finally, Rex itself. Even in death, their father, Big Boss, brought their fates inextricably together. Their careers, their combat experience, were nearly identical. Liquid was the yin to Solid's yang. Civilians and soldiers alike celebrated Solid Snake as a hero, while Liquid dirtied his hands executing classified black ops. 
Although he too was a son of Big Boss, Liquid was forced to hide in history's wings. Contempt for his fate only deepened his hatred for Solid Snake. Liquid sought the remains of Big Boss, his predecessor, in order to cure his diseased existence. The cursed twins, Solid and Liquid, were reunited as family in front of Metal Gear Rex, but certain powers did not approve. Those organizations conspired to hide the whole affair and brought the battle to an abrupt and unexpected end. Fate had separated the twins once more, seemingly for good. If these events seem deliberately staged, the players manipulated, then they expose a sinister mystery, one brought to light by Solid Snake's paper trail. A group seeking nothing short of global slavery, the Patriots. A surprise attack on United States soil, the Big Shell Incident, first made me aware of their presence. This incident began with terrorists hijacking an oil tanker on the Hudson River. Terrorists led by Solid Snake. In response, the Navy sent Marines to the tanker to take back what was theirs. In the ensuing battle, the tanker sank, taking Snake along with it. The Hudson is still polluted with oil. They say it could take hundreds of years to disperse. Unbeknownst to the public, the stage had been set. Two years later, a cleanup facility the big shell was built. Crisis loomed again as the US president was touring the facility. Solid Snake, previously presumed dead, again led a terrorist unit, this time occupying the big shell with the president as their hostage. In response, the US military sent a rookie Foxhound agent into the Big Shell on a solo sneaking mission. His code name was Raiden. His mission had just barely commenced when he made a surprising discovery. Solid Snake. But this snake was no terrorist. Someone else was using his name. Framed as a criminal, Snake had infiltrated the Big Shell on his own, determined to expose and undermine the true terrorists. It was then revealed that the ringleader of the Big Shell hijacking wasn't Solid Snake, 
Rather, the man behind the attacks was none other than the third of Big Boss's sons, a perfect clone codenamed Solidus Snake. Raiden's early life as a child soldier was one orchestrated by Solidus Snake. Despite his tragic upbringing, one too common for hundreds of thousands of children today, Raiden was able to overcome his traumatic past as he faced his foster father in battle. Joining forces with Solid Snake, they cornered Solidus. With all other options exhausted, Solidus played his trump card, activating a titanic metal gear that had been disguised as the big shell, Arsenal Gear. The coordinates were set. Arsenal Gear was headed for New York City. Raising his voice with a mighty cry, Solidus was ultimately felled by Raiden's blade. But Raiden soon found he wasn't Solidus's true enemy. The third snake was in reality, revolting against those who sought to control him, the Patriots. Having learned the truth, Raiden vanished into the streets of New York City, joining Solid Snake, the sole survivor of his line, in the hunt for the real enemy. But the mission for this snake was far from over. I first stumbled across the Patriots while tracking Solid Snake, learning of their true role as puppeteers tugging at America's strings. Now they're pursuing a new plan, extending their influence across the globe by taking total control of war. War has changed. ID-tagged soldiers carry ID-tagged weapons and use ID-tagged gear. Nanomachines inside their bodies enhance and regulate their abilities. Everything is managed and controlled. Having killed his own kin, what remains for the sole surviving snake? His father's blood. His curse eats away at it from the inside. What fate awaits this greying dog of war? His final mission is about to begin and I will follow him until the bitter end.